Hi all, as we're doing a revamp on the sailboat, this is part of it, well it will be, you'll see, that ordered another one of these switches, if you can see that, can you see that alright, let me just try the lights, okay that's better, right, so I've ordered another one of these Chinese switches, I'll go through the wiring of this totally, but also I just want to show you how I'm fitting it to the box, so all I've done really is measure the distance centimeters is better across and I've gone to 10.5 uh, 10.7 so 17 7, uh, 17 centimeters is that right 10 no 10 oh, you can work it out what is it hold on 115 mil 10, 15, 117 mil. So I've allowed 117 mil. Sorry, I'm not that good at mathematics, whatever. Whatever I'm ruling. By what we got here. So I've, I've measured for the center, which you can see. And then I've got, yeah, so 47 again that way. But 47 mil one way, 117 mil the other. I'll drill in one corner, mark it out, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so drilled it out using a hand drill which is a bib and brace, that one. And I'm just filing it out. So here's my drill. And I'm now filing it out. So you don't need all the fancy stuff because I'm at work at the moment and we've got no power because uh, we have special keys. So it stops the kids from using it, even though there's no kids in school. So there you go, there's no power. So I've just used an ordinary hand, bib and brace and a file. I'll show you in a sec. What I'm doing is just supporting it. And I'll show you in a sec. There you go. Let's see if it fits. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So a little bit over, but. That's it, that's a good fit, that'll do. So I'll screw it in and uh, yeah, see what it looks like. Okay, I go. just did this today, I did a quick video, which I'll put with this one as well. I'm just gonna show you how to wire this up. This is for my sailboat. I did one for my speedboat and I've done one for my van. So this is now gonna be for the sailboat. The sailboat has no well, it's got lights in it, but I don't think they've ever been wired up. If they have, there's no signs of anything, battery or anything, or conduit the lot. So I'm going to use this to wire my uh, sailboat up, which will be um, stern lights, uh, port and starboard, and bow lights. Uh, and then you've got the usual, you've got your charge here and your USBs. I'll show you all that in a minute. So how I'm going to wire mine up is... Um, I've already put it in the case, as one can see, which will be in the, the video with this, you'll see this. And you've got a quite a straightforward one, you've got a live and a positive. There is no fuses, you'll need to put fuses on if you want to. You can put it, the fuse, to each one of these, you can add a wire coming off, fuse it, and then connect whatever device you're going to, which will be the live, goes to these, okay? I will show you that now. So what I will do is I'm going to wire up, first of all, this is a, a stern light. So I'm going to use one of these little jobbies. We've seen these are quite a brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. If I can find the link, I'll put it in the description down below. And you'll need some crimpers. And I think those are not the ones. Give me a second, I'll just get them. There you go, very cheap and inexpensive, marked yellow, blue and red, which corresponds with the device on here. So, what we'll do, just pop this, if you can see that, can you see that? Into there. I'm going to squeeze the wire, two seconds. It's got a bit of a kink in it. I'll cut that down a little bit, a bit too long. Okay, here comes trouble, and then on the red one, corresponds with the red one on here, 
and just crimp away. Oi, 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 oi. So there's your red wire. Okay, now your live, if you're going to, you would put a fuse between this and that. Okay, this is just for demo purposes. So this is my live going to the switch. And there you go. So that's on there. Okay, pull that back. Now what I'm going to do, this is going to be not complicated, but uh, you'll, well, you'll see. Right, so let's do this first. So here's my negative. Okay, and then what we'll do here, let me just grab something. Where is it? That one? No. Okay, so this will be my lead coming from the battery. And I'm using this is a Anderson terminal, which I've been learning how to do these. I've got another video with this on, they're brilliant. And the reason why, if you can see my battery, just lift you up a little bit. And there we go they come like that so i'm going to use this battery on the boat anyway for now because it's only the only thing i'll be using it for is the pump so this is an anderson connector so that's what i'm going to use so the other end you've got a positive and negative with the wires a bit of a twist and if you had a multiple device one of these with multiple switches on i've had one with six on what you'd do is you'd probably get something like this very similar and you would put like six in a row or something and then you put a loop into each one i'll show you let me show you let me show you it's easier so the first thing is i'm going to put in um the i'll put the live so i'll put the live in one end and you'll see why in a sec okay that's me live going in to my live on the switches okay there we go so that's the live on the switches so all you're doing is taking a live from your battery which i'll show you there we go so it comes from that from the anderson connector to that which is the live the red the live okay so that's what we're doing so that's connected up then you'll take your negative and we'll use what we'll do there and we'll put the negative in this side what I'm going to do or even that side doesn't really matter what I want to do is put both together and I'll show you why in a sec so I put them in there like so come on you still in view put them in there I've got my big hands in the way sorry like so so I've got both once and the one side. Let me tighten that up. Right. The reason why I've done that now is left this free. So if I if I wanted to, I could actually power all three devices because they're not they're not very powerful. Not they don't consume too much power. The only one I think would be the biggest one would be the bilge pump. But the rest would be uh, stern light, bow lights, and port and starboard lights. Okay, so with this one now, all you do is put it this side. And if I wanted to, I could put all three into this side. Okay, you could probably fit another one in that side if you're not using too much power. So let me just do that. Okay. So there we are. So let me have a look. Let me, let me explain. And so, okay, there we go. Right. Okay. Live coming in. So live straight to the switch. That makes all this live. These are all now live once it's connected to the battery. Then each device that I want to use will be connected to the live side of the switch. Those three. So this will be. This is the um, bow light. Okay. And then we'll do. If it's, it might be switched on, I don't know. So then, using this connector, in my boat, which I will be doing a video on that, you connect, okay? And straight away it's come on. And all the lights have lit. Now, if you want to isolate this from your battery, because these will be on permanently, then you would put a switch between 
this and your battery and that would be when you switch it on or off that's what happens okay let me just turn let's turn them all off they're all on are they is that the right it's funny with these chinese ones sometimes they're up and down and it's just different in it but they work fine so i'm not going to argue them for 14 quid see now they're all live okay because you need to put an isolation switch between this and your battery or it will gradually die but it doesn't use much power at all it's very very little i read it on the other boat i left it on for a week or so and it was still all right anyway that's not the point to get rid of this okay so we have two usbs here and a voltmeter which i do like because it does tell me the condition of my battery 12.8 volts all right I hope you can see that all right can you yeah except for my hand right and then each switch and i've wired this one to the first one and you've got stickers that come with these they say it's by with a sticker so on goes the light that's bright so that would be my what did i say it was uh, not stern bow light that's my bow light so that would that would control that and then what i would do put another red to the device so you'll have two wires coming out of the device you've got which will be the the, the other lights i've got they're coming uh so you'd put the black to this and you'd put the red to your switch you see so each device you just put onto your switch hope i'm not telling you so stupid but you know and then what you'd put this inside tuck it in you drill a hole in the case of course before you do all this and you put a rubber grommet to make sure it's watertight these are watertight cases this is a water, watertight switch as well waterproof switch both of it you can see the rubbers on the i don't know if you can see them there's rubbers behind there which makes the switches waterproof um and that's it really you know i bought the case off ebay i'll put a link in the description down below i bought the switch off ebay i'll put a link in the description down below i don't think you want the lights i won't put that in but they they work they're good they're good this was four, i think it was 14.99 it didn't take long either it took about just over two weeks the case came two days pretty good um yeah that's it really uh, if you enjoyed the vid give it a thumbs up i will put links to my other videos um over here and the subscribe button is over there with my face on it and if you click on that you'll get a notification bell if you hit the notification girl bell you will be notified any of the next videos coming up thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up that does help the channel i don't do anything else i don't do patreon i don't do nothing like that everything i do i fund myself so a thumbs up does help greatly all right take care be safe and uh, we'll catch you in the next vid all the best bye